fine, aren't we, Thorn? He's not here yet, is he? No, you're OK. Hey, Thorn, looking good this morning? Tell me about it. I was looking in the mirror and I completely lost track of time. And Misty, you're looking, well, particularly plain and ordinary, truth be told. Tell me, do you have to work at it or is it natural? Oh, you're going to eat dirt for that. There is pay heat. Another time, human lover. Any time, troll breath. Silence! We are gathered here today on a matter of growing concern. As fairies, we are blessed with certain powers. Powers which I'm afraid to say are being abused, especially by those of you with human assignment. Your powers are there to help humans when they are in need or distress, not for personal gain or advantage. With this in mind, if I find any of you abusing your magic powers, I shall suspend your magic ability and remove you from your human. Is that understood? Good. Okay. How's it shaking, Mr. K? Shaking very well, thank you, boys. Ah, <laughs> oh, whoa, MTV? <laughs> How could it be empty? Wouldn't work if it were empty. No, no, no not MTV. M T. Forget it, old man. <laughs> He's oblivious. Anyway, I didn't make this purchase to listen to this racket. There's 112 exciting channels to choose from, bringing me the best entertainment from all over the world. <laughs> Look, 24-hour weather in Norwegian. Handy. I dag er det kæmpekalt. Hey, Misty. Look at this. Britney Spears has such an obsession with fairies that apparently she has a tattoo of one. Who is Britney Spears? A 22-year-old divorcee. That every boy in the world just happens to lust after. Every boy in the world? As if. Mum said you should... Whoa, Britney! She's so buff! I thought you said boys, not toads. Anyway, it's just because she's famous. You take that away from her and she's just like you and me. Can I have that picture? I'll give you 50p for it. Playing over 20 popular tunes from the classical to the contemporary. Come on, Mr K. What's the point of getting sat like if you sit and watch this drivel? Shh. <laughs> Ingenious. At only 39.99. Do you remember this one? Mrs. K is going to have a birthday to remember. Hi, guys. Hey. hey. Ah, satellite telly. Cool. Why are you watching that? Mr. K's kidnapped the remote. <gasps> Brittany. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. And here we have it. Proof that man evolved from the ape. Mm hmm. This hero fame stuff. Don't you think it's a bit sad? It's not her fame, Miss D. And look at what she's wearing. Not much by the looks. What's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, given the opportunity, we all could be pop stars. Yeah, yeah, dream on. Oh, I wish a record producer would come in here right now and I would prove you so wrong. It's our big chance, County. A plan like no other plan. We find an undiscovered band and we guide them to superstardom. Then they'll have no choice. They'll have to make me headmaster. And the Fame Academy will be mine, I tell you. Don't you mean ours, darling? Uh, of course. You really are a brilliant man. That's why I love you so. And then after the Academy, it'll be the David Grant Show. A feast of an extravaganza. I can sing. I can dance. Don't you mean the David and Carrie Show, sweetie? Yeah, whatever. And then there's the merchandising. David Grant Cola. David Grant Underwear. David Grant Toys. Imagine, in every child's bedroom, a David Grant doll. Milkshake. That's brilliant! David Grant Milkshake, in a multitude of cool flavors. She want one. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's... and... At last! I'm in the right place at the right time. Nice one, Misty. No, I didn't... What are you going to do? Ask them for an audition. 
Well, you heard, David, they're looking for a new band, and we are it! No, 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 you can't. I mean, you've seen them. One note out of tune, and they'll crucify you. Before they grind you into the ground like you're a cockroach, licking their lips as all the squidgy goo spills out onto the floor. Oh, come on. No one can be that bad. Believe me, Misty, they can. Is Britney intimidated by the moguls of music? I don't think so. This is the sorriest excuse for a milkshake that I've ever seen. Look at the colour. It's dull and unexciting. The milk is watery beyond belief and the fruit is both underripe and overseeded. This is one of my favourite refreshments. And you have made it into something that will cause me nausea every time I set eyes upon one. What do you have to say to this? £3.50, please. That's right, Mr K. I'll get these. Hey, you two. <laughs> this might just be your lucky day. The David and Cara Grant. Yep. And they want to audition me. I mean, can you believe it? One problem. What? You have the singing voice of a squealing baboon. Shut it, bogey brain. Yes, don't be so cruel, Jack. I think it's wonderful, darling, isn't it, Rog? Indeed it is. Your mum and me were a bit of a hot duo many moons back, weren't we, love? <gasps> Who were you with in the moonlight? Who was it holding you so tight? Who were you with? Who were you with? Who were you with in the moonlight? Who was it holding you so tight? Who were you with in the moonlight, baby? OK, kids, all together. Who were you with in the moonlight? Who was it holding you so tight? Who? Uh, of all the parents in the world, we get lumbered with those two. It's so embarrassing. You're just as bad, Ella. This band business is exactly what's gone wrong with modern society. The chasing of celebrity, believing that fame will bring you happiness, the end of all your problems. It's so shallow, it's beyond belief. You want in, then? Oh, yeah. Has it got that story? The human who lost her fairy because her fairy was so dumb in there. What are you on about? Don't act innocent. I've been watching you all morning on the dewdrop screen. Can't believe you're going to so blatantly disobey Professor Dust. Whoa there. Do you want to rewind that little speech of yours and tell me what in fairyland you're going on about? Abusing your magical powers. Setting up Ella and her mates to be pop stars. Don't tell me that that doesn't fall under personal gain. That was nothing to do with me. OK, so two of the most influential people in British pop just happened to walk into Mr K's diner right on cue, did they? Well, yeah. It was a coincidence. They do happen, you know. You ought to be careful, Misty. You're starting to pick up those bad habits off your human friends. Like lying. Travel through airports and railway stations is a thing of the past with this remote-controlled suitcase. I with its three must speeds and have reverse one. mode, you'll be the envy of travellers everywhere. They're going to suss us out in an instant. And when they do, they're going to feed on our intestines. <sighs> with a big, fat straw. Have faith, will you, Rick? Faith? You told them that Ollie is one of the greatest undiscovered songwriters of our generation. I mean, he's only just mastered how to write his own address. No offence, mate. Ah, oh, none taken, dude. I mean, I don't quite know where I got the inspiration for this. I mean, I wrote this on the bus on the way up here. You wrote this? Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all, in fact. But we haven't even got any musical instruments. I mean, what sort of band doesn't have instruments? Somebody here order a set of drums and a synthesizer? Oh, oh, that'll be me! How we survived before the shopping channel, I have no idea. Let's get this show on the road. Thank you very much. <sighs> what would a girl do without a fairy? Ella, I have no idea what's going on, but it's got nothing to do with me. Yeah, of course it isn't. 
Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Pease. It can't have been easy for you. Tell Misty to report to me the moment she returns. Take it away. Why did you stop? I thought it was going well. Oh, come on, let's go again from the top. What is up with you guys? What? You know what Jack said? Comparing your voice to that of a squealing baboon. <coughs> well, he was wrong. <laughs> I know that. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. OK, I'm not a bit rusty. Fine. Let's take five and try again. Yeah? Was I really that bad, then? Um... Afraid so, yeah. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. What? I thought you wanted to be a pop star. Yeah, still do. But lucky for me, I have a fairy who can magic me a great voice. I can't help you with that. <laughs> what do you mean you can't help that? Of course you can. You're a fairy. Well, I'm really sorry, Ella. The powers that be are coming down really hard on it. And if I disobey, they could take me away from you. What about David and Carrie coming here? Ollie's sudden gift for songwriting? The instruments? Like I said, it had nothing to do with me. Well, I managed perfectly fine before I had a fairy, and I will manage just as well again. Thanks for zero misty. Right. Let's get to it. We audition in less than 18 hours. And by the way, if anyone comments on my voice, I will gouge out their eyes with spoons and serve it to them on toast. Get it? So you still got the outfit? Yes, all we have to do is we have to go up to the left and... Shattered. How'd the rehearsal go? Yeah, wicked. If you like the sounds of cats being dragged through white hot coals. <coughs> uh, I'm off for a show. Mum, you've got to stop Ella from going to this audition tomorrow. When David and Carrie hear the excruciating noise that comes out of her, they'll tear her apart. Don't be silly, darling. Your sister's got a lovely voice, hasn't she, Roger? One of an angel. I live in the house of the deluded. Um, where is this audition thing, anyhow? At the diner. That's nice. Uh, well, what time, roughly? Tennis. why? No, no reason. reason. Hi. The professor wants to see you. Piers, you don't honestly believe I'd lie to you, do you? He says he wants to see you immediately. <sighs> You wanted to see me, Professor? You disappoint me, Misty. I made it quite clear in my instruction of when and when not magic may be utilised with one's human, to which you have shown complete disregard. Yeah, I know it looks that way, but... Be quiet, fairy! <laughs> from this moment on, your magic is suspended, and you are to be withdrawn from your human girl indefinitely. Is that understood? Away with you. Not that it'll make the slightest bit of difference, Misty, but if you must, you must speak. Well... Ah, oh, poor Misty. Wings clipped and nowhere to go. I knew you'd be along to gloat. I have to hand it to you. It was an inspired piece of wickedness. Yes, it was, wasn't it? You're just too smart and wily for me. So you do talk sense sometimes. Tell me, where did you get the idea for such a brilliant plan? Easy. As soon as the old buffer dust started dictating when to use our powers, you were mine for the taking. It cost me a lot of fairy dust, but it was so worth it. But why did you stop there? 
Why didn't you magic Ella a great voice and make my supposed abuse of fairy power beyond all doubt? She has got a great voice. It was me that gave her that squawk that she has now. You don't really expect me to actually help those horrid human friends of yours to get what they desire, do you? Have you had enough yet, Professor? More than enough, thank you, Misty. Snowdrop, come with me. Misty, I'm so sorry. I know. Oh, I've got to go. I'm sorry, but that was simply terrible. I mean, the vocals. Is there a word for such a disaster? I think a car crash would have had more tune. No, I have to agree, but you're being too kind. Your dancing has got all the grace of a jelly-legged giraffe walking a tightrope. What were you two thinking wasting my time like this? Wasting our time, darling. Wasting our time. So, is that a no? When you're ready, guys. This digital remastering you guys can do these days to, um, well... Lead vocals, for example. How actually advanced are they? Can you just get on with it, please? I've got lunch with Kylie in an hour. He means we've got lunch. Kylie eats. Come on, guys. Let's just bite the bullet. Here we go. One, two, three. Sorry, mate. Trouble with snow. What? In June. Can you please get on with it? David here. Can you call Kylie and cancel my lunch? <laughs> Sorry. Can you call Kylie and cancel our lunch? And while you're at it, call Richard Park and tell him to pack his bags. Yes! 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 